Meet the cup or slug moth caterpillar. Cup moth larvae are often highly ornamented and brightly colored. Two main types can be distinguished larvae armed with rows of protuberances bearing stinging spines called nettle caterpillars, or non-spine forms where the surface of the larvae may be completely smooth, called gelatin caterpillars. The larvae of this family bear no prolix on their abdominal segments. The larva attaches itself to the substrate by means of an adhesive ventral surface. The movement this caterpillar is like a slug, hence their generic name. A stinging slug caterpillar like this one generally bears warning coloration and stinging hairs. These hairs can inject a venom from poison sacs carried at their base that are used as defensive weapons. Reactions can range from a mild itching to a very painful sting. Are cup moth caterpillars poisonous? The colorful, slug-like larvae of cup moths can deliver a painful sting and are among the few venomous caterpillars. They usually have many short spines, either scattered over the body, or in dense, expandable clusters on tubercles. Each spine is hollow and filled with venom produced by a gland at the base. What does a slug caterpillar turn into? Slug moths belong in the family Limicotidae snail, slug form. The larvae are called slug caterpillars, and the adults are called slug caterpillar moths. Slug caterpillar are in the moth family Limicodidae. There are over 1,000 species known worldwide. Many have stinging, venomous spines, so handling is not recommended. They eventually spin cocoons, pupate within, and emerge as compact, rather fluffy but otherwise regular-looking moths. Slugs bury themselves in the soil or find a moist, well-protected spot where they remain in a state of suspended animation. They secrete a mucus-like cocoon around themselves and wait it out until there is enough rain or moisture to dissolve the mucus and soak the water into their bodies. Sawfly larvae look an awful lot like true caterpillars, but these creatures are actually related to ants, bees, and wasps. In contrast, adult sawflies have a distinct wasp-like appearance which hints at the true evolutionary relationships of these creatures. I have given each individual a descriptive superhero style name in the title of the image. The flattened profile and frilly margins of this genus of caterpillars has earned them the nickname, Doormat. This is for my own reference mainly because practically none of these caterpillars are identified maybe even ever formally, and this will allow me to group the growing number of images I have into their like kinds including the various and stars I have captured. Thank you for joining this journey with us, and thanks to those wonderful people who are supporting this channel as we explore the unseen world. If you want to see more from our Master of Microscope then like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon.